All right, my name's Houston. I'm back with another pickup. This time I picked up the Tokyo Fives, and this is the current version that they're releasing. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to show you what you're getting if you order these from any of the sellers, because this is what the factory's putting out. So I'm going to show you the good and the bad of the shoes. So, let's go ahead and get into this. First off, I got these from the seller, the Facebook seller I'm using now. And this is what the factories are putting out. And to say the least, these are, I'm gonna say very disappointing. They got way too many flaws to them. But, um, if you know how to fix them and do little fixes here and there, you can, you can probably pull these off. Cause I know I can do the fixes for these. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you know the flaws and you can make up your mind if you want to pick these up or not first flaw is the the weight of the shoe they're very light you can tell it's not a quality shoe it's real real light midsoles are very squishy for some reason it kind of feels like boost boost material that squishiness to it and i don't like that at all so i think i'm gonna have to do a midsole swap on these later on not right now because I don't like that midsole at all it's too squishy this matte matte finish here it's kind of sloppy as you can see let me go ahead and put the shoe down so you can look at it And another flaw here is the stitching in the front around the toe box is supposed to be yellow, not black. So what I'm gonna do is put some white paint over it, paint over all that stitching and then go over it with the yellow paint and that'll fix that. And the tongue, tongue is too flat. Jumpman is wrong, he's not supposed to have fingers, it's supposed to look like a lobster hand. What I mean by that is his fingers ain't supposed to be visible. It's supposed to have one going this way and the little thumb like a curve almost. So the jump man looks kind of, it's kind of messed up too. The head is too round. The ball is missing a piece of threading there and it's flat. This tongue is supposed to be real puffy and it's like flat, it's not indented at all. Like the way it should be, it should be deeper down in there. And it's not, it is 3M though. The back of the tongue, the lining and everything is okay in it. As far as I could tell, but it's just the tongue is too flat. It's supposed to have a lot more padding in it. These are very flat. Lace locks are okay. I didn't check it to see if they had a jump man on it or not. But anyway, the material of the uppers doesn't change color. As of yet, I gotta do a fix on it to get that, to get the color changing effect to it. But it does have a suede feel to it, like a new book. Or well, it's more of a Dura book like that, like the four Jordan 4 Breads has got kind of that uh, kind of that material but it does feel like new book it's not leather the t23 okay it's okay the size is okay I don't know if, I think this should be a little higher I don't remember the placement I think it's supposed to be a little bit up a little bit higher Jumpman on the back is it's a lot bigger than my older version that I had shape of the shoe looks good no complaints on there it's nice and and padded on the inside and out it's got a lot of padding in it this part of the laces the where the laces go through is pretty good it's got all right colors to it uh, the bottom is supposed to be gray right here outsoles they're okay, but they should be more yellow, but I think that'll happen over time. 
and the netting it's supposed to be gray and these are white like bright white almost as white as the midsoles so that's another flaw right there but I have been working on the other shoe and I'm gonna show it to you right now it's I grade the netting out a little bit so you can see the difference in the shoe now I did the tongue, I did the outline there, so it doesn't look like this. And the knitting on the inside, take a look at that. So you can see, uh, all I used was a pencil to do that. I cut it in the inside and then I just shaded it in. Let it stain up the netting a little bit and it turned gray the way it's supposed to be. But if you want a better effect, I would go with a graphite pencil. It'll stain it a lot more. And it won't it won't rub off of there. So that's pretty good. So that'll work for now. But like I said, I did the tone. So when the 3M hits it, it it'll look at least pretty much look a little decent. So that's the shoes. Insole. Another flaw wrong insoles there's no design on it there should be a design with a two and a three on it with a bunch of yellow and gray black designs on it this is just a cheap thin little insole so it's got the jump man but i'm not gonna keep these i think i'm gonna throw these out and put some other insoles in those shoes because these insoles always hurt my feet when they're real thin like this <clears throat> they don't last too long and another flaw is the box, wrong box. The box is supposed to have the silver Jumpman on it and like the shiny black and gray box. <clears throat> this one is just a regular Jordan 5 box. It's And the wrong card, they sent this card. This is not the Tokyo card. Came with extra laces. And some shoe trees. <clears throat> and these are here that came in the shoe too. It's just white paper in there, nothing else. So that's pretty much the of what you're getting when you order these. Like I said, I'm just showing you what you're getting. This is what the factory is putting out. So you spend your money on it if you want to. If you don't want to, I would wait for another version to come out where they add more fixes because I know there's going to be at least three or four versions of these before they get it right. But like I said, they got to make their money so they'll just put out the first version with a bunch of flaws and then make you buy another version where they fix something and something else is wrong with it. So if you've been buying shoes, you know the deal already. But anyway, so these are the ones that I got. And I'm not buying another version, so, well, at least not right now. If I sell these or trade them or whatever, then I'll get another pair. But, like, if you want these just to sit in the background of your, if you make YouTube videos and you want these to sit in the background, they'll look okay. Because they'll be from the side like that. But I wear my shoes, so I got to do fixes on them since I'm taking them out in public, so that's why I fixed the netting on them. And it does look a lot better than the bottom one. And I did what I could with the tongue. So here's what they would look like from the front with the marking and without it. And I, what I'm gonna do today is just go ahead and take care of the stitching here. And then the bottom, I don't know if I'm gonna fix that because since it's white, it's gonna look gray after a couple wears anyway. So, take one final look at them before I get up out of here. So, we'll go over the shoe again, just showing you what it looks like. And if I missed any flaws, just let me know down in the comments. I try to find as many as I could. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and finish working on this one and then I'm gonna go ahead and get them on and try them out for a couple of days, see how they fit. So my name's Houston and I'll hit you on the next one.